Hey, what is up guys? It's Gideon and the video that was going to go up today is actually pushed to tomorrow because uh, Linux Mint 19.2 just came out and all the videos I had were on Linux Mint 19.1 uh, So I'm gonna be a main user of Linux Mint because it's one of my favorite distributions of Linux So I'm gonna be covering today uh, what's new in Linux 19.2 and why you might want to be updating Hello, so now we are looking at my desktop, and I'm sorry you can hear fan noise over my computer lags. I am in the process of getting a new computer, and not only that, but I will be trying to be improving the quality of everything that I do. So uh, this is kind of one attempt of that, although I am still crunched for time, so unfortunately it's not going to be perfect. But we're going to be taking a look at everything new in Linux Mint 19.2. So we're going to be going through the changelog one by one, which is going to be linked down in the description if you want to take a look. But it looks like the update manager got a bunch of updates. So if we look at the update, oops, that's the wrong thing. The update manager. Uh, welcome to the update. So this is a fresh install of just Linux Mint. So if we go to system information, what you can actually see is that we are running Linux Mint 19.2 Cinnamon. Um, and what four gigs of RAM is running in a virtual machine, of course, because that's the easiest thing to do is to quickly spin up a virtual machine. Uh, so we're gonna quickly switch the mirror. And uh, actually, I'm just gonna leave it. So it looks like there's already an update for update manager as soon as we open it. So I'm going to uh, allow this to update while we're waiting for the update manager to update itself. Uh, which is which this screen is actually something new this new version of update manager is now available is oh I can't click on it anymore but it's a new screen that's now available in the new version of update manager if we go to view or edit uh, preferences we'll now see that there's only three tabs as opposed to five so there used to be five tabs and now there's only three uh, and these updates are can now be automated as well in addition whenever the cache is uh, Re reloaded the this list of updates also reloads automatically which is built in and was not a feature before if we go to view linux kernels and click continue we can now see that we are of course i am running a default kernel um, but we can now uh, there's now this queue installation button and we can queue multiple actions at once so those are the big changes for the update manager there is now also for the software manager there's now a loading machine, uh, load, load not machine, sorry, loading screen. Uh, this loading icon was not there before. That's just a, a small thing. For system reports, if we just, let's close out a software manager. We don't, we don't need to use that. Um, in fact, I don't use it that often anyways. Uh, if we go to system reports, uh, you can now see that this now looks slightly different and we can take a look at what system reports look like in the older version. Um, in addition, there are now, uh, you can now repair boot proms uh, using the built-in installer, which this is not the installer, this is an official desktop, but it, you can now boot directly into a uh, installation image and it will give you um, more options. New uh, wallpapers have also been added, so if we just take a quick look, uh, they're here somewhere. Ah, yes. So there are some new backgrounds uh, with some, some names as well. So if you click on, for example, the Maldives, we'll see if the picture changes. Um, or like jump, and once again, the picture changes. Um, personally, I prefer one of the default Linux Mint backgrounds. I think these look very clean. And also looks better for the video anyways, because the backgrounds are smooth. Um, and it's better for YouTube. Uh, so there, there's been a new update to transmission. We open transmission. Oops, I am in the wrong computer. Transmission. Uh, we're gonna click I agree. Overall, it looks uh, more or less the same, but Supposedly, you can now see the colors better. I personally cannot tell the difference, but I think they're about the same. And so that's about it for most of the updates for Linux Mint 19.2. I hope you enjoyed this video, a uh, quick overview. And actually, we can take a quick look at the Linux Mint 19.1.
So welcome back. This is Linux Mint 19.1. If we go to system info, we can clearly see that this is pretty much the same system except running Linux Mint 19.1. You might notice that it has eight gigabytes of RAM instead of four gigabytes of RAM because this virtual machine has more RAM than the other virtual machine. They're both running at the same time and my computer is dying, but that's okay. So we can take a look at transmission, which is the last thing that we just looked at. Supposedly that this is supposed to be a lighter program. It looks, or supposed to look lighter. There's some graphical glitch right there for some reason. And to me, it looks about the same. I can't tell the difference. Um, but one thing we can look at is actually the update manager. So if we open the update manager and we go to view Linux kernels, We can see that there is no option to queue the install and we have to do things one at a time. In addition, looking going to edit preferences, we now see that there are five options and automation was, no, was not a tab where it is in this version of the update. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below or like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.